Let's stay at the corridors of justice. After five years of a legal battle pitting a, uh, a crime buster and a family in Gidurai, a Nairobi High Court has handed Titus Musila Ngamau, alias Katitu, a 15-year jail term. Katitu was accused and subsequently charged with the murder of Kenneth Mwangi, which occurred in a broad daylight shooting in 2013. Our crime desk reporter, Brian Obuya, has the details. Titus Musila, well known as Katitu, was thrust into the limelight in 2013 after he shot and killed Kenneth Mwangi at close range at the Githurai 45 bus stage. Katitu gave Kenneth a clean sweep of his feet before finishing him off. At the time, Katitu enjoyed 16 years in the police service and was feared by the criminal gangs of Githurai and Zimmerman as he felled them with bullets without a second thought. But in the same breath, he remained a darling of many residents who saw him as a hero. The arrest of Titus Musila will throw Githurai 45 into a state of disorder and unrest as irate locals engaged law enforcers in several days of demonstrations and running battles. It was one of those rare moments when locals defended a police officer. But what caught public attention is when top politicians sided with the man who operated outside the law. They supported the murderer. And as he handed his judgment, Justice James Wakiaga maintained that no police officer had the right to take the life of a suspect and that if need be, then it should be done as provided in law, candidly stating that Kenneth Mwangi did not have to die the way he did. That whereas the police officers in their fight against crime faces challenges, no police officer has the right to take away the life of any citizen of the Republic of Kenya or those residing there, green, whether criminal or not, save for in compliance with the law as stated here in above. Whereas there were allegations that the deceased was involved in criminal activities, the same did not deserve to die in the hands of the convict, who did not make any attempt to apprehend him and subject him to judicial process. Justice Wakiaga ruled that despite Katitu being a hero to the people of Gidurai, he acted against the law by taking a life. Wakiaga said that in those 15 years, the convict should spend three years in probation. And since he has been in custody for four years, the same should be deducted from the remaining 12 years. The fact that the victim was unarmed, who was unarmed, was shot three times. I have come to the conclusion and find that a sentence of 15 years would be would uh, to be served as here in will be adequate appropriate and just the high court judgment raised sensitive questions on how the public viewed people perceived to be criminals in his judgment james wakiaga said that the jailing of katitu should serve as a warning and a lesson to police officers operating outside the law Katitu decided in a split of a second if a suspect was to live or die by the gun. A man whose primary role it was to protect life, but in turn became a tech of the same. And a 15-year jail term has become the culmination of a five-year battle between the officer, a community struggling to save itself from spiraling crime, and the fight for justice for a family that lost two sons whose murders revolve around one man. Titus Musila Katitu, a man who has since been abandoned by the law, the people, and indeed the gods. Brian Obuya.